Hey guys, it's Ability44 here, what's up with RS, and I'm going to be telling you about the behind the scenes for November, and this year's November behind the scenes is looking crazy, like there's so much shit going to be going on that'll change the RuneScape game so much, and really bring a new era to, uh, to RuneScape, honestly. Um, they're changing the interface, they're reworking the website, I mean, this is going to be crazy, they're doing a complete quest that is all voiced. Uh, I mean, they're just crazy, crazy updates. Um, I'm going to start off by telling you all about the Thanksgiving update first for 2011. Uh, they're not actually doing, like, a turkey event like they have for, like, the past fucking three years. Um, and I know that this isn't really celebrated, like, this event isn't really celebrated in England, but they still put it in the game, which I think is really cool because there's a lot of U.S. players, and we all fucking celebrate Thanksgiving. Like, we love eating and, like, fucking gorging ourselves on just food and feeling okay about it. So, anyways, for the Thanksgiving event, we usually have turkey, and that's why the whole turkey thing is put into RuneScape. Um, but the turkeys aren't aren't really happy about us eating them, like, every single year, or at least in RuneScape, you know what I mean? In real life, it's kind of like, you know, whatever, fuck them, they're animals, we'll eat them if we want. But, in RuneScape, they're getting pissed off at us eating them for the last three years. So, pretty much, we have to come to, like, a peaceful compromise or figure out a way of actually being able to still eat turkey, but, like, have them okay with it. So we pretty much have to cannibalize the turkeys, I believe. Um, but, yeah, the, I'll give you all more information as soon as that, as the, as soon as that event uh, makes its way into RuneScape, and I'll probably be doing an in-game kind of, like, guide thing to help you all uh, through that. So, yeah, just wait for that, and I'll be updating you all more on that when it comes out. Now, the second thing in the behind the scenes is reworking the RuneScape interface, okay? Now, this is like the top level of the RuneScape interface. This is like um, the chat area. This is the buttons. Um, you know, they're just going to completely rework that. I hope, I really hope that they rework the map as well, because I loved the old style map, like, with the two lizards that, like, kind of went around and, like, I don't know, had, like, a ball in their mouth or something. I think it might have been the world map. I, I don't know. But it was something like that. And I really like that design, but, like, I can see that design going so much further graphically, and I really hope that they do something like that. Um, but we'll just have to see, um, what they actually do... And, uh, you know, hopefully it'll it'll look okay. Uh, here's a few of the things that they actually named off in the behind the scenes that they're actually going to be doing. Brand new info boxes making examine messages and left-click actions appear over the item you're clicking on rather than hiding as a text message or hidden as a text message. No more checking the top left corner for NPC names. They'll appear next to your mouse cursor if this option is enabled. So that's really cool. I'm glad that they're actually making it to where you can enable it or disable it. That's really awesome. New stone buttons. The ones you use to open your inventory, quest journal, etc. So pretty much like the, the I think it's like 12 buttons down at the bottom. So you know they're gonna be, they're, they're gonna have a new kind of look to them. And um, a rework of the borders of the minimap, including a new metallic look. So that's, that sounds pretty interesting, although metallic isn't really the RuneScape style of things, but I think they're going to be working with this quite well to make it uh, visually appealing to us. New trims to the side panel interface themselves, like the inventory. So like... I believe what they're talking about is, like, when you have your inventory open, there's, like, the box, and it has, like, those, you know, like, the the box. The, just the fucking box thing, you know? Like, they're going to re just be re reworking what those look like. And I'll definitely be making an in-game to show y'all, an in-game video to show y'all what they've actually done. Although, you'll probably be able to see it yourself. You know, I still want to put it on the fucking video, you know? Um, but anyways... On to the next thing in the behind the scenes is a new website, okay? Not like an actual new domain name or anything like that, because that would be, like, crazy if they did that. But a new look to the website, and you can find what it's going to look like in the description. Make sure to check that image, because that shit looks fucking epic. And I'm sure y'all will agree with me, like, it looks fucking, like, 
I don't know, man. I, I really love how this new this new website's gonna look. So I'm really pumped for that update. So I'll definitely be uh be making a website video. Like I haven't actually made like any of those little videos where it shows like the website. Maybe one. Maybe like because they did update the website before, and I think I showed it in that video. But I'll definitely be showing it in the in the next video when they actually update the website again. And I'm really pumped to actually show you all that because this fucking shit looks epic. Make sure to check the link in the description for what this looks like because it's amazing okay um and the next thing on the list is the new slayer dungeon the po the polypore dungeon is uh is what they're going to be calling it and there's a skin weaver that can actually like and skin weavers i believe what runescape means by this or what jagex means by this word is that they actually like weave the skin into some sort of creature and that's going to be really cool because there's going to be new Slayer monsters in, um, you know, uh, I think the top level Slayer monster for inside of this new dungeon is going to be level 95 Slayer. So this is going to be really awesome for, uh, for us to find out what's going on with this. And it's supposed to be very graphically appealing to us. So I really think that they're going to be doing an amazing job with this. Um, as far as new Slayer Dungeons go, yeah, they put the Curadel's Dungeon in about two years ago or something, and, um, that's been the last, well, maybe it was like a year and a half, I don't know, something like that, but, um, it's been, it's been a while, but not too long, you know, so it's still, Curadel's Dungeon is still pretty new, but this new Slayer Dungeon is supposed to be more graphically appealing than that, and I believe that's mostly what they're going for, other than, like, and, and new monsters, of course, other than just kind of like placing everything together and making it like a central hub for uh, for monster killing. Um, but this is going to be like a dungeon for new types of monsters if you want to go down there and kill them. But I will be making the update video on that dungeon as soon as they make the update on RuneScape. That will also probably be an in-game video, so I don't know. I might actually get 99 Slayer on that day because I'm like really, really close to 98. So, I don't know, it just it's, it just might be a big thing for me to do. So, I'll think about that, and if so, I'll definitely be having a party on that day, and, um, you know, putting that in the in-game video as well for when that update comes out. Uh, on to the second-to-last thing for the behind-the-scenes, one piercing note. It's supposed to be an all-audio quest, okay? And they, they put all-audio and dancing quest. I'm not really sure what they fucking mean by that, but maybe, like, they're, you're gonna be forced to do emotes or something. But, like, I don't know, I kind of like it when they, like, you know, kind of force us to do, like, you know, certain things that we really usually wouldn't do. Like, maybe we do some fucking parkour off the walls of a building or something. Like, you know, I think that'd be awesome, you know, fucking go Aladdin on this shit, because it is in the desert. So, I think that'd be, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> um, but, yeah, there's no requirements... Um, but there is like a type of uh, mini game activity after you complete the quest, and this requires level 60 prayer and 60 crafting. But I'll be telling y'all more about that on the RuneScape in game update for One Piercing Note. Um, and the last thing, this is definitely going to be an in game video for for this update. Fucking Wilderness Graphics Update. Holy shit, I know, right? They haven't updated the fucking graphics ever since they uh, they added that shitty little wall. So, I'm pretty excited about this, and I'm sure y'all are as well. Um, you can find some of the pictures in the screenshots area for my description. So, make sure to check out that link, and it'll show you what the... Uh, or, some of those screenshots will actually show you what the new wilderness is going to look like. It looks pretty ballin', to be quite honest. I'm pretty excited for that. Um, but yeah, pretty much, um, they list three things that they are definitely going to graphically update in the wilderness. Uh, those three things are many landmark locations, including the King Black Dragon's Lair, Teleport Obelisk, the Mage Arena, and the Agility Training Arena. Uh, the second thing is new lava environments. And the third thing is a higher frame rate, reducing PK issues, not adding to them. Okay. Well, so yeah, there's uh, there's all the updates for you know the behind the scenes, and um, I'm really excited for this this month's behind the scenes. I will definitely be making all update videos on these, like I always do, obviously. And um, yeah.
Thanks for watching this video. I'll be making my um, RuneFest leaks video uh, very, very soon. Um, so, yeah. Like, and I believe that some of these things mentioned in the behind the scenes is actually going to, um, to take effect with the, with the new RuneFest leaks. So I'll make sure to kind of tell y'all about what I believe will link up to the leaks and to the behind the scenes. So I hope y'all are excited to hear what I think about, you know, the leaks. And I hope y'all like this video and like to hear, you know, kind of like what was going on with the behind the scenes. And I hope y'all are really as pumped as I am about this. So definitely, thanks for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like. Make sure to leave your comments on what you think about the behind the scenes for this month. And I'll be catching y'all later in the next video. Peace out.